name is Elliot Trulove, and I will be showing you how to make the Trulove knot. It's a four it's a four chambered knot, and obviously with a red tie, it looks like almost like a heart. It has four parts to it, almost like, and it's and it's a weaved knot. I will be showing you how to tie this knot today, and in my previous videos, the lighting was quite bad, but hopefully I will have resolved that issue. Now, I will promptly get into the spirit of things and get into the showing you of how to do this. So, now there's, now that we are in the position to be able to do the knot, uh, I will show you how to. Now, starting out, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a little mirror behind you, so, because uh, it's tough for me, even, even for me to do it without looking in a mirror. So, yep, now. You arrange the tie a little bit above your waistline, and here it goes. You take the tie, and you, pin you make a pinch in it, like so. That's step one, making the pinch in. Step two is going across the front. and around the back. So, pinch, cross around the front, around the back. Now, you go through the top, through the top, and around to the other side, through the top, and around to the other side. And that was steps three and four, I believe. Wait, yes. Pinch, around the back, around the front, around the front. Yes, three and four. And step five is you go around the front like this. Step six is now that, now that you have your tie over here, you go round and through the top. And if this was a normal half Windsor, you would just tuck and be done. If this was the, if it was the, if this was the big side. But obviously it's not. So take this piece, loosen it up a bit, because we're going to need that later. You flip the tie to its back side to the other side and you pull it up and tuck it into the back and come out this side now you're starting to see one two three this last step completes the tie you take this piece here and you tuck it in here, just like as if you were weaving a basket. So, and there you go. You have created yourself a true love knot. So it's this. Now, depending on the length of your tie and how tall you are, you will have. You might have a lot of this, or you might have just the, the, uh, this uh, almost this amount. But with most guys, you can get it. So tweak it, 
make sure the T is right. And then, the beauty of this knot is, once again, no tail, except for over here. And you can pull on the large end to tighten it up into your neck. So, you then pull your collar down and promptly sit down enjoy something in a snifter even if it's something non-alcoholic and and then and then what you do is you proceed and then what you do sorry I'm looking I'm looking at the, in the mirror making sure I, I, I get, I'm getting this right oh. uh, then what you do is put everything back on put everything back on this was actually my grand this was actually my grandfather's vest Finish it off with a vintage tie clip. And you are good to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. I don't script any of my videos. I just it just kind of goes as it were. And yep. That's uh, because life is unscripted. You don't have a script in life, and you don't have a sheet, a guide sheet, typically. You have guidelines, but you never know what to expect. So, so yeesh, sorry, I'm getting all philosophical. Um, yep, so thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe. Like, Instagram, hashtag true love not, um, or I think on Facebook now, Twitter, hashtag true love not. Um, and for those of you who do, for, for those of you who do know me, thanks for supporting me. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. You all have yourself a lovely day.